Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmaso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. The purchase and pricing question email line from you to me and my handpicked crew for this or any watch you see here on Watchbox Reviews. Email tmaso at thewatchbox.com. And today we're discussing a 2015 release, the conservation-themed Omega Seamaster Planet Ocean GMT Good Planet. 43.5 millimeters in stainless steel is part of the Planet Ocean family. 49 millimeters lug-to-lug, -lug, 50 54.5 millimeters solid end link to solid end link and 17.2 millimeters thick. The watch has a 21 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Now we're going to throw it on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, get a sense of how it fits. As you can see, you shouldn't be scared away by the 17 millimeter thickness. Though the watch is large, it's not ungainly. And although it won't fit underneath a tight dress sleeve, it's really having no trouble with my work shirt. And you're going to have no issues fitting it underneath any kind of a formal vest or jacket sleeve. Now the timepiece, of course, substantial. It is a 600 meter diver, even if specifically this is not a dive watch, and I'll explain why that is in a moment. You can see oval cross section, triple link bracelet, a little bit like the Rolex Oyster, but you can see the profile is considerably distinct. The removable links are fixed by screws. There's plenty of gapping on the underside to vent the wrist on a hot day and avoid pinching skin or pulling hairs. And the clasp is milled out from the solid very secure, a beautifully intact polished bevel along the flank. You can see that the engravings are still deep, minimally if ever refinished. Twin trigger release, pop it open, you have a dive extension inside, milled out from the solid like the clasp itself, very secure. Even if you're not going to use it over a wetsuit or a dry suit, I recommend using it over a thick winter coat. Jumping out, you can see that the watch features a bi-directional rotating GMT bezel. Now, this is designed to be used in conjunction with the 24-hour hand to allow you to calculate a third time zone. You have to set the 24-hour orange hand to GMT and then use your airport or port of destination local GMT offset to find that third time zone. You can see that the bezel itself has a ceramic cap and the orange is a lacquer inlay. There is a helium escape valve for you exotic mixture. Heliox divers, you know who you are. You'll use that to avoid blowing out the crystal and seals while ascending. Now, I should mention, because of the bi-directional rotating bezel, it's not, strictly speaking, a dive watch, though it has the same depth and technical specifications as the standard 600-meter Planet Ocean. Screw down crown, a dial with a blue lacquer base that is rich and lustrous. You're going to see that the watch features a unique tri-Arabic numeral and white gold hand and index combination with a few well-chosen shocks of orange on the dial. Now, of course, the timepiece features hacking or stop seconds, as well as both 12 and 24 hour formats independently settable. So you can set two time zones on the dial of this watch. Turn it all over, let's get close again, pop open the bracelet, and you can see the caliber 8605. It is designed for this watch. It is a GMT adaptation of the coaxial chronometer caliber 8500. Two main spring barrels, 60 hour power reserve. Those features allow the watch to be long legged and because of the two barrels, the watch maintains excellent amplitude. When fully wound, it's not going to overbank and when largely unwound, it's not going to lose too much amplitude. That's the advantage of two barrels. It beats way at 25,200 vibrations per hour, five position adjustment, COSC chronometer. It is, of course, anti-magnetic with a silicon hairspring and very shock resistant with a full balance bridge and a free sprung index. 38 jewels with a handsome arabesque spiral coat de Genève across the rotor and bridges with blackened rather than blued screws. It beats away at that quirky coaxial specific rate because this is the latest tri-level coaxial escapement. It is a direct and indirect impulse exotic escapement that remains the most sophisticated you can buy for under $50,000. Invented by George Daniels in 1974, industrialized by Omega in 1999, and today largely perfected, extending maintenance intervals to over half a decade and allowing superb precision in between services. This is a high-tech watch inside and out, and a good-looking one. Designed in the spirit of marine conservation, part of the original sale proceeds of this watch would have benefited the Good Planet Foundation and its marine conservation goals. You can still fly the colors and show your spirit. Earth Day is always just around the corner, and hell, it's a cool watch no matter what. Email tmasa with thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details. And we're back with the Planet Ocean GMT. Note, despite the fact that it's not a dive bezel, you do have the convenient ability to line up the green pearl and the green minute hand for a little bit of an unofficial dive bezel timing effect. Email tmasa with thewatchbox.com.